I love big bags and I cannot fly. You other brothers can't deny. Anyway. Hello friends! I'm so excited for this video because today it's time for another monthly favorite! I am aware that I skipped a couple of months, but to make up for it, I prepared a special variety of items today. And actually, this month was pretty hard for me because I don't know which item to share with you first because they're all so great. Okay, I think I will start with the one that brought me personally the most joy. Get ready for this! It's curling and straightening and waving irons. I'm not 100% sure how this came to be, but I never actually owned a curling iron in my life. When I was younger, you know, my friends had some and I tried them out and it never really worked for me, so I just gave up on it. Oh. But lately I've been seeing like curling iron hacks or straightening iron hacks that are supposed to make it very, very easy to use curling or straightening irons, even for complete fools like me who have no skill in that whatsoever. So I decided to just go for it and try out some styling irons and I am in love. And the other party of this love story is the Korean brand Vodana. Vodana has different types of styling irons as well as hair dryers and some styling products. Um, but the first thing I bought was this Vodana straightening iron. It is so freaking cute, like all their colors are these pastel candy-like colors. So there's this pink one, there's like a lilac one, a blue one. They're just so freaking cute. And after I fell in love with the straightening iron, um, I thought, well, you know, <laughs> I'm an adult, I have some money to spend, so why not try to broaden my horizon and buy a curling iron next. <laughs> Actually, I guess my timing was kind of lucky because at the time that I discovered Vodana, they had like this huge sale and I brought a box with lots of products inside, some styling irons, some hair clips and other stuff. So yeah, I had this huge box come to my house and it looked very cute and I'm very happy with it. And one of the items in there was this lilac or purple curling iron. This one is 46 millimeters wide, uh, so it kind of gives you a medium curl. But I found this one to be very natural and I actually did curl my hair with this, um, but I did it yesterday. <laughs> so these are my second day curls. I think they still look very cute and kind of natural. I did it! I revitalized my curls a bit again uh, because I thought I should do that <laughs> if I'm trying to talk about it in a monthly favorites video. So yeah, look at it, so cute! And last but certainly not least in this trio of Vodana styling products is this wave iron. I didn't even know wave irons like these existed, which I guess is no surprise because I didn't know anything about irons, but it has kind of a two barrel situation going on. So instead of giving you curls that twirl or twist like this, it's really a wave. So yeah, it has kind of a more romantic feeling to it. Um, and this is also super quick to use. Like if I just go big, 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 so if I just go like tuck, 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 three or four times, my hair is done in 15 minutes max. So I really, really like this guy too. And again, super cute color, super cute design. This was a great investment for me this month. Moving on from hair styling products to face styling products, meaning makeup, I have been loving this lip tint, which I'm actually wearing right now. It is the Espo lip tint in the color Feeling Tipsy. And the reason I got this is because I was intrigued that it's marketed as the new vegan line of Espoir. I don't know what made their previous lip tints and lipsticks not vegan, but yeah, apparently this is part of their new vegan cosmetics. So if you're vegan or if you're looking for cruelty-free cosmetics and makeup, this could be interesting for you. And also the color is just so luscious. And this really goes for all Espoir lipsticks I have tried so far. No matter what you drink or eat or how much you talk, if you put them on your lips, they will stay there for the rest of the day. As a lip product, it's really nice. And for the last beauty-related product of today, I have the Innisfree Green Tea Sleeping Mask. 
Many of you might already know that I have been an Innisfree fan for about six years now, all the time I've been living in Korea. And during that time, they often changed their products. Like some products were just canceled altogether, new products came out, some products were improved and relaunched. And I think this green tea sleeping mask is actually one of those because my mom also really used to love the green tea sleeping mask but at some point they just got rid of it so every time she asked me to send her some I was like I'm sorry they don't have it in the store anymore but yeah I think they kind of reworked the formula now the green tea sleeping mask is back it is a different container than before not only does this smell heavenly it really is a, such a nice soft smell like it's not overpowering but you definitely smell like the fresh leafiness of green tea <laughs> and because it is a sleeping mask you can just put it on your face as the last step of your skincare routine and then when you wake up the next morning you feel refreshed and hydrated and it's just so nice and for the last part of this month's papers we have some fashion items which is especially exciting for me because it is always kind of hard to find fashion that fits me in Korea. The average size of girls here is just much smaller and much thinner than I am. So every time I find something, I'm so excited and I love it. And this one's item is something I have been looking for and longing for for the longest time. And I finally found an online shop that sells it in my size. And it is these boots. <laughs> So the story behind these boots is that they are all the range in Korea or have been for the last four or five months. They have been so popular here not only because they are pretty but because they have such a tight fitting ankle piece. It's kind of like a sock that clings to your leg so it makes your legs look really slim and long. And not only that, uh, because they have a broad heel, it's also super comfortable to walk in them. But of course, all the stores only sold these kind of shoes to the size 250, which I don't know what that is in an American size, so I will put it here for your information. But my shoe size is more at 265 or 70. So while I saw all my cute little friends uh, walking around in these boots and just crying to myself that I have <laughs> such big feet, I finally found a shopping mall online that sells big size shoes because they're also Korean women with big feet. It's just we're in the minority here. <laughs> but I finally got to buy these boots and I'm so happy to finally be part of the stylish shoe community. And that already takes us to our last item on the list which is this cute Charles and Keith handbag. Charles & Keith is a Singaporean brand, but it is super popular in Korea too. I think because they have such cute yet elegant designs and their cost point is also not too high, it really is a popular brand. This particular bag was gifted to me as a birthday present because I just love big bags. I love big bags and I cannot lie, you are the brothers 59. Anyway. I just really appreciate having a big bag where I can fit everything I need from my cosmetics to phone, phone charger, tripod, camera, whatever I need to put in. I mean, check this out. If you want some curls on the go, you could even fit a whole curling iron in here and you would have no problem carrying it around. That's amazing. And as I said, the design is just so cute. It has both minimalistic as well as modern aspects, which I really like. And yeah, the size is perfect. And I've been really enjoying this guy as my go-to bag this past month. So that was it for the things I really enjoyed in the month of March. I kind of can't believe that it's already the third month of the new year. What's happening? But at the same time, I'm very happy that the cherry blossom season is finally about to start here in Korea. So if you want to see what that looks like, be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram because I will surely be uploading a lot of cherry blossom content on there. That's it for today. I hope you're staying happy and healthy and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!